Arizona, but you, yes, you, you can call me Cat. Ram. Welcome to my channel, bitch. Today is the 23rd of May, and I'm headed to my doctor's appointment. Let me check my watch. Today is the 16th of May and I didn't have any pain this morning and I decided bitch you need to go back on a diet. I'm not moving around as much as I used to be so I need to really watch my diet now. Really watch it. I'm going to watch it good. I am feeling good. I'm feeling good this morning. I was giving myself a massage on between my thighs and that sounds kinky. Ooh. I was giving myself a massage in the swollen areas and trying to get the lymphs going. Yeah man. Fruits, vegetables, meat, water. That's it. Fruits, vegetables, meat, water. Boom. Done. That's the diet. And I need to get some exercise. Just like moving around a bit at least do the upper body while you're lying down or some shit that's how we're looking i got some white tape on at this point yeah it hurts kind of in this, these areas right here so i like put some cross hatching strips across there but i'm um, looking good still got my legs propped up on the pillows and it's gonna be fine man everything gonna be fine hello it's so dark I wonder why it's so dark it's dark 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 but anyway it's been a whole week I didn't even realize that today marks the one week mark since my surgery it's the 17th of May and I had mine on the 10th so it's actually an entire week and I'm so happy woo okay so I'm walking okay but I so when I sit sometimes the swollen part of my thigh like the upper thigh feels so swollen that I feel like I'm sitting on a ball like a big round ball <laughs> but anyway it's gonna go down eventually it's going down a lot On the beat, on the beat, got sicker. Cat's name all on your mouth like liquor. Cat's name on on your mouth like liquor. Cat's name all on your mouth like liquor. Cat's name all on your mouth like liquor. Like like liquor like. <laughs> what day is this for real? It is now Saturday, the nineteenth of May. Oh wow, that was actually tiring. <laughs> I haven't worked out in so long because I've been recovering. Oh man, I went and I did myself really bad yesterday. I wanted to take you on a car trip with me. I went driving, I went to the post office and let me tell you something about the post office here in Angola, okay? You go to the post office thinking, okay, I'm gonna pick up something, you know. But you take about two hours minimum there, two hours. It takes you two hours to get out of that place. I love you guys. I know we ain't really high tech yet. Maybe they'll have some kind of online site. We can put your invoice in for the product. You can have like a, you'll have a, like a, 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 an online profile and it, your packages will come in under your profile and you know that they're there. So then you put in the invoice Then you wait for the statement. You can click onto the, the statement and boom it has a price that you have to pay so you pay it with credit card everything gets processed you print the receipt and bring the receipt to the post office and then boom they just give you your packages that would be awesome cat said it first okay fuck off cat just solved all your post office problems right there website post office anguilla so i was sitting down there for two hours <coughs> yesterday my legs started to swim 
as an asshole and then I went and I lay down for a few hours until 2 o'clock I was supposed to do nails I don't know who sent me to do nails <laughs> I was trying to make money man I'm unemployed anyway so uh, I was trying to make some money so I'm sitting down doing two sets of nails my goodness and it took longer than I normally would take <sighs> because I'm not you know I'm not up to scratch yet so I'm sitting down there for like five hours let me tell you my legs swell up but I feel a little better this morning I had to cancel all my nails this morning and I'm using some peroxide to clean up my wound yes it looks puckered and weird at this stage only because the stitches haven't dissolved as yet but it will it'll get better I have some swelling down here still right down here some swelling had a little spot right here that was kind of leaking some weird stuff not weird but you know I suppose that's pretty normal it's been doing that for a little while <laughs> this is what you go through you gotta do stuff I gotta clean it I gotta clean it yes ma'am I have a big scar down my leg but I intend to tattoo that so I am not too worried about it this is just a few days old, like what, nine days or something? It will be alright. Nine days old. And it's not looking too bad. Not too bad. I'm gonna put some tape on it again. I don't do this every day. Um, I do clean on the outside of the tape. Um, and the tape has like pores in it. So you can, you can clean it from the outside. So like I'll put some peroxide and clean it from the outside it kind of seeps through so it's not a big problem alrighty I'm good I'm taped up taped up nice on both legs what I would do is take the antibiotic ointment and just put a little bit down the scar and let it seep in so there you go my antibiotic ointment is on by the way, it's nighttime, so everything looks darker than it's supposed to be. You know? Um, yep. That's how I take care of that. After I tape myself up, I'll rub my legs with Voltarine. See? Voltarine. And I'll massage my legs with swollen areas with the Voltarine. And I'll put on my compression garments and go to bed. So that's how I take care of it before I go to bed. I was so bored today that I was just laying there and just doing some henna on my hands and stuff. It's pretty. It's pretty. It is so pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, it's the 20th of May. I can almost close my legs. Look. Well, I am closing my legs. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It looks a little bit bumpy and stuff because I have tape going across this way like this so yeah it's whatever um, but everything is, is working out slowly yes I'm trying to do a little bit of exercise you know you know walk around the house a little bit cuz gotta get movement back up but can I bend my leg a little bit I can bend my leg a little bit now about this much I can't bend it all the way up yet feels kind of weird when I try. Ooh, careful cat, don't rip no stitches. Uh, 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 uh. Work it out, work it out, work it out. Sometimes I just put some music on and I'm just like, you know, just moving on. Just a little bit trying to get some light exercise in, you know. I still gotta finish my tattoos on my stomach, you know. They look bad. But I will, eventually. Can't do it right now. But... <laughs> the doctor also recommended that every time you have a shower and the tape gets wet, you take a blow dryer. This one actually has cold and hot settings. So... I take a blow dryer off fan and just blow dry it until it's dry. Good morning. 
is the 21st of May I'm doing so good guys I'm doing so good um, I'm not worried about the scar because I'm a tattoo artist now and I decided that I want to do something cute on it now I could of course try to blend in the scar with my natural skin color or whatever but uh, I'm thinking that it might have some discoloration in certain areas and stuff like that. I might not be able to cover it up like that. And plus, it might be a little bit raised, uh, you know, still within a year. But like after a few years, it's going to flatten out much better. And so I don't want to have to wait that long to cover it up. The doctor said six months. I'm going to wait, I uh, hopefully, till about a year to do it because, yeah, I don't trust myself. Oh, yeah, I trust myself, but, I, <laughs> you know, you know how that goes. I want to show you what I drew. So it's like gems and lace and beads and all kinds of stuff. So it's going to come down the leg. And this part is going to be at the knee, right right at the bottom of the where the end of the scar is by the knee. And it has some lace and it has some little gems and pearls and beads and stuff like that. Kind of looks like a henna, but not really. And then we have, you know, up there, I might not be able to reach so good. So I kept it simple kind of up there and just like in the middle here, I like that. It's going to be right in the middle of my thigh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy doing that, man. It's the same design for both legs. I am not I'm not stressing out myself. I want it to match. I want it to look good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I can't wait to tattoo it. I hope I finish it because sometimes I don't finish my tattoos. Like I start them but then I like I wanna finish them and then I don't ever finish them. Like really. Cat, when you have to finish the butterfly tattoo, when you finish the tat, when you finish the, the stomach tat, cat, when, when, ha, tat, cat, it's funny. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, guys, I can close my legs. <laughs> I haven't been able to do this for a while. I can close my legs, bitch. Look, bitch, I can close my legs. Look, the swelling is going down. This leg is still bigger than that one though. The swelling is still right here in the back and in this section. This one is swelling a little bit too, but not as much as this one. Mm, I could close my legs. <laughs> ah, today is the 21st of May and I still got some bruises and stuff. Okay, I'm cleaning up my scar now with some peroxide. It's still kind of foaming in, in certain areas there. Yeah, I'm cleaning up myself. Getting ready. I just had a bath and I'm getting ready to put back on my tape and stuff. Don't worry. All of this will flatten out. It only looks like that because there's stitches in it. You know what I'm saying? But these are dissolvable stitches so they will dissolve over time and everything will just flatten out and smoothen out. Because, I mean, I've been through this with a tummy tuck, so I know what I'm saying. This is actually, this scar is better than my tummy tuck scar, I must say. It's probably going to be much neater and closer together. Morning! It's the 22nd of May. And I went on a little shopping trip this morning and I drove myself. And... I was in the store walking around and I felt a little twinge on my leg, on my left leg. My left leg is giving me a lot of little problems, you know. There's this one spot that keeps seeping little fluids and stuff. It gave me a little twinge this morning and I said, ooh, I feel that. Came home and looked at it, it had a little spot of some kind of fluid seeping out of it so I had to cut the bandage right there and then clean the area and put a piece back on in that section alone because I didn't want to remove the whole tape but it didn't look like anything major was going on it didn't look like it was bursting open or anything it just looked like a little fluid was seeping through uh -huh, gotta be careful cat you're overdoing it 
but I felt so good and I was like okay that's a little bit of exercise for me and you know because I'm not moving around too much so I, I'm afraid that I would gain weight but again I was back up to about 202 I was 198 and I gained four pounds and now I'm back I'm down to 199 point something I think it was like point two or something I'm taking my time I can't exercise yet I want to do some lifting and a little bit of movement is good I can bend my legs I can bend my legs a little bit I can sleep on my side if I put a pillow between my legs that takes off the pressure but I find that when my two legs touch at the top because they're still swollen at the top up there it feels weird it feels like nothing is rubbing on nothing it's like so numb that it feels like the numbness is nothing like I can't explain it it just feels like there's nothing but I could feel I know that they're touching but it's like so numb that I don't feel like anything's really happening fuck it I can't explain it so just die <laughs> Nothing seems to be going on with the right leg too much. The swelling is going down on that leg much better than my other leg. And everything is looking pretty good except for that one little spot. And I'm trying to stay off my legs. And I'm trying to not sit down for prolonged periods of time. Ooh, prolonged periods. Oh my god, I used a big word. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> I gotta go back to the doctor tomorrow. So I'm gonna take my camera with me. <laughs> I'm in here all alone again. I need to change my bandages. I'm in here on the table again. Waiting for the doctor to come. Ooh. Like there's like still secretions coming out of certain areas there. I'm wondering if that's normal. Hi, Miss Lynn. Hi. How you doing? How often do you change it? Not very often. Okay. I mean, well, every two, three days. Okay. After you? Yeah. Okay. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Look at this. Is this normal? This looks That's weird. Normal. Look, look at this. This looks like ooze. I'm worried about it. I ain't sure what you're showing me. No, this, 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 look. This, this spot right here. Anyway, it's looking good. Except for a few areas. This, this one here keeps oozing. Like this area and right here. And a couple of areas. Still, yeah, I guess. But they look good, eh? Yeah. Time for you to go to the beach now. Beach? Yeah. Why? Because I want to see it so honest. Would you? Yeah, I can Oh. Vagina can be a virgin again. The glue gets tired. We got black up and shit. <laughs> can't be. Can't fuck. I mean, <laughs> just be kidding around. Y'all like jokes? I like jokes. Everybody happy. <laughs> Jiggle test. Now remember when I jiggled the last time? 
it was way more jiggly than that. Right? There you go. I still have a lot of swelling back here. And that's a little bit jigglier than I would like. I think that area would definitely need some revision. And this area back here too.